the hunter, the sheep, and the hungry cat. Once upon a time, there lived a hunter in a forest. He was young and strong and very successful as a hunter. Each day at the break of dawn, he would march forth with his bow and arrow and hunt a deer, a rabbit or a bird, bring it back to his hut, roast it and feast upon it. To amuse himself, this hunter kept a cat as a pet. In the late afternoon, when the hunter ate his meal of roasted meat, he gave some of it to the cat. This cat got so used to the meat that if any other food was offered that was not meat, it would refuse to eat it. It was indeed a spoiled cat. It so happened that one day the young man felt sick. He could not go out hunting. There was no game to roast and feast upon. So the hunter took out some barley that he had saved up for a rainy day, boiled it and sat down to eat. The cat came running for its food and the hunter offered some of the barley to the cat. The cat smelled the barley, his at the food and walked away. There also lived in the forest a certain sheep in a hut not too far away from that of the hunter. The learned sheep lived on a few grains of barley each day. With each bite he said, Shukar Allah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar. Thanks be to God. Praise to be God. God is the greatest. And he felt so supremely satiated with what he ate. The sensitive soul of the sheep was keenly aware of its surroundings. After the fajr morning prayers, the sheep would sit outside his herd in contemplation, performing a silent zikr, remembrance of God. The sounds of the forest, the flutter of birds, the rustle of trees due to the passing winds brought him. The news about what was going on in the forest. Sensing that something was wrong with the hunter because he had not heard the sound that resulted from his usual hunting. The sheikh went to see the young man. Assalamu alaikum. The Sheikh greeted the young hunter. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Responded the young hunter. Are you well, my young friend? Say the Sheikh. I have a fever, my Sheikh. Say the hunter. And a terrible headache. So I could not go hunting today. The Sheikh handed the hunter a herb that was known to cure such ailments. Here, take this with the next meal. It will help you. Inshallah. At this point, the hunter pack cat came out. It was still hissing from the lack of meat. This cat eats only meat, said the hunter. I offer it some barley, but it refused to eat it. Been hissing since the morning. The sheikh thought for a moment, Give me the cat for three days, see the sheikh, and help me build a cage. I will train the cat. The hunter agreed. The two of them gathered some wood using branches of vines. They constructed a cage. The hunter brought out the cat, put it in the cage and locked it too. 
Dishe carry home the cage and with it the cat. The first day he offered the cat water and some barley in a cup which was placed outside the cage and within reach of the cat. The cat hissed and turned up. It would have nothing of the barley. This saying was repeated the second day, the third day. The sheikh pulled the cup of barley away so that the cat could not reach it even if it wanted to. The cat hissed all morning but by the afternoon of the third day, the hissing stopped and it was all quiet. By now, the hunter was feeling better. To collect his cat. Greeting the shape, he asked how the cat was doing. I will show you, said the shape. He opened the door to the cage. The cat ran straight to the cup of barley. Only after licking the cup, clean off all the barley, did the cat turn to the hunter and meow. The hunter had learned his lesson. Thank you, my Sheikh, said the hunter. I should treat my nox the way you treated this cat. Do not give in to the fancy desires of your nox. Keep it on a tight lash. Feed it with the food of contentment. The young man carried the puring cat back to his hut. <laughs>